guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jacqueline and I'm a South African natural hair enthusiast and my channel is all about helping naturals that have just transitioned or just did the big chop and they are new to this natural hair journey. Today's video is all about shrinkage. What is shrinkage? If you'd like to learn more, please do continue watching this video. curly fan please do like comment and subscribe don't be afraid to like comment subscribe we do have fun here yes yes we do and it's very educational and informative but not in a boring way and if you are my curly fam hi my lovies and welcome let's get into today's video today's video is all about shrinkage now i do have my notes here as i feel that when i have my notes it's easy to talk to you guys so i don't just babble 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 on and then i kind of get off the topic and then the video just gets boring and then we just get morose and so no let's get on with the notes so what is shrinkage shrinkage is where the hair reverts and it is shorter when it's dry y'all shrinkage is just another way of saying that your hair is healthy that is your it is seriously that is just a way of saying that your hair is healthy if your hair shrinks then you know that you have healthy hair and then that is that's a good thing. It's a good sign. Some people say shrink more than others. This can be because of the products or because of genetics. It's not because maybe because somebody else's hair shrinks more than yours and you think that their hair is healthier than yours. No, that's not. It's just that some people, like people with type 4 hair, like type B or type 4C hair, their hair shrinks more than anybody else's hair. Then maybe somebody with 3A or 3B or 3C hair. Their hair doesn't shrink as much as a person of type for hair. Do you see the difference? It doesn't mean anything that maybe their hair is healthier or better than yours. It's just that it's the hair types and it's genetics. That's just, or maybe sometimes the products that you use can also play a factor in this. Then we go on to shrinkage can be more dramatic. Where were we? Shrinkage can be more dramatic for type hair because curl pattern is already as tight. See what I mean? Then shrinkage is healthy as it shows elasticity. This is the hair's ability to stretch and bounce back. Y'all, y'all, just that bounce back of your hair when your hair is shrinkage, it just, it's a bomb. I'm going to put a video here so you guys can see what I'm talking about because you see this bounce back right here. That bounce back, baby girl, you know you got bomb hair when your hair bounces back like that, seriously. <laughs> I just went over the top, didn't I? Okay, I'll tone it down. Now there are ways to get rid of shrinkage. I'm not really one of those people that want to get rid of shrinkage because I love my shrinkage because shrinkage just indicates to me that I have beautiful and healthy hair and you can just say that the shrinkage is real. So, But then if you are one of those that want to get rid of the shrinkage, I will give you the following tips. First things that you can do is braid out because the hair reverts less in braids and it stretches out your hair. You can also do twist styles like I do or flat twists, chunky twists, normal braids or any of those twists. Those are also a way for you to stretch out your hair and also retain length retention. This doesn't mean that you're going to get rid of stretch out like for good. If this is just another method for you to stretch out your hair but also for length retention and also make your hair a little bit more manageable. Then you can try using less water based products. But why would you wanna? Seriously. Water based products is just a, an amazing way for you to moisturize your hair. But hey, it's up to you, Malari. Then you can do smaller sections when you are doing your twists or braiding your hair. And because that will just make your hair look a little bit longer. Then you can also, this is gonna be my least favorite tip that I'm gonna give you, but you can also try blow drying your hair. That is a way for you to get rid of shrinkage. I'm not a fan of this as I do not like putting a lot of heat on my hair. I will blow dry my hair maybe like once a year. But then any other time I will seriously use normal ways to stretch out my hair. Being it the African thread method, being twist, being banding. 
but any other way that I can, I will use those to switch out my hair, but blow drying, that will be my absolute last, last resort. Guys, shrinkage is good. It, that is a good thing for your hair. Shrinkage is good. Say it with me, we must make this a mantra. Shrinkage is good. <laughs> but seriously, shrinkage is very good, guys. So please just, if it's there, it's beautiful. Your hair looks amazing the way it is. But if you do want to get rid of it, then yes, I will say that maybe, you know, try out these these ideas that I gave you to switch it out. But don't get rid of it for good because shrinkage is an indication that your hair is very, very healthy. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see any other videos of mine, don't forget to hit the notification button. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate you guys and 